This backrooms level looks very safe and really relaxing, but it's quite literally the exact opposite. Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be explaining backrooms level 711, not the gas station, the backrooms level. This level is also known as the abandoned aisles, and I know you're gonna like this level because you all always like dangerous places. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? So Backrooms level 711 is classified as a class 4E difficulty and is very, very unsafe because of the anomalous weather events that can happen here at any time and the weird entities that also occur here at any time. The level itself looks like a huge archipelago, which is just a big chain of islands, by the way, that sprawls out over a very shallow ocean. The level size isn't fully known yet, but there's been people who have traveled hundreds and hundreds of kilometers and miles from the spawn and they haven't reached an edge yet, though it might be infinite. Most of the islands in this chain are pretty flat and sandy and, you know, tropical looking, but some of them do have beachy grass and foliage, and the bigger ones tend to have rocks and cliffs and coves and caves and forests of palm trees on them. The further you get from the center of the level, the smaller the islands themselves tend to get, which means that the biggest ones are towards the center, and the very biggest one is at the very middle. These big islands have way different different geography and stuff on them compared to the other ones because instead of being flat and calm, these tend to have massive cliffs and sharp rocks and caves all over. Now, none of what I've said so far is weird. In fact, it seems pretty relaxing. Just a bunch of islands. But if you look closely at some of the islands, you'll start to notice some pretty strange things about them. For example, you might see a few old rowboats or motorized boats or steam engines or planes that have crashed onto the beaches and coves. I'll get into depth of what they are later, but some of them are in good enough condition to use to travel from island to island, but some of them are too broken down to use. Now, on a normal day here, the weather can conditions are good and fair. Everything is calm and sunny. The water is also extremely clear and calm. You can actually see to the bottom. The average depth of the ocean is about 15 meters, so it's very shallow. Also, weird side note about the water in this ocean. It cannot be boiled at all. No matter how hard you try, no matter how hot you get the water, it will not boil. So you can't make fresh water, which kind of stinks, because that means you can't stay here forever. And the only creature that's really been seen in these waters are large groups of stingray type creatures. The palm trees on the islands don't actually grow coconuts like normal ones from real life do. They actually grow a very strange yellow fruit. And these yellow fruits are the only natural source of food in the entire level. They kind of look like watermelons and are said to have a nice tangy tangerine citrus flavor, like a big orange. Now this is where the level stops looking like a paradise and starts getting scary. On your journey across the islands of the level, you'll start to see more and more wrecked vehicles and specifically wrecked planes and ships. So they come from different time periods and different nationalities, which is really weird if you think about it. It means no one's safe, really. There's been ships and planes from the US and Asia and Europe all seen here on this level. Most of the wrecks have supplies in them, like first aid kits and scrap metal and, you know, pretty much anything else you'd see on a plane. But inside some of these planes and ships are where the dangers really begin. Sometimes the wreckages make weird noises and weird events occur. And this only happens when you get inside of them. It'll start with the wanderer just hearing faint whispers in different parts of the ship or plane. And these whispers will grow louder and louder and get closer and closer until they're so loud and overwhelming that you become extremely paranoid and just terrified. And after this sets in, wanderers claim to see shadowy figures dashing around the wreckage and in the corners of their eyes and taps on the shoulders and scuffling behind them. And overall, you feel like you're just going insane and you feel like everything's about to be over. People say these shadow beings are humanoid in shape and they just really dart around everywhere and are never in their eyesight long enough to get a good look at them. They'll just be there for a blink and then once you open your eyes, they're gone. But then you blink again and they're back. Anyways, it's unknown if these shadows are real people or if the wanderers here are just losing their minds so bad that they think they're real. But if you start seeing these things, it's too late because at 
this point, the entire wreck will become glitchy and corrupt and will start to collapse in on itself like a tin can. And whoever is inside of the wreck when it happens will never be seen again. We have no clue where they go. They just get no clip somewhere. Let me know in the comments what you think happens when this occurs because I have no idea. Like, is there just a level where everybody gets sent to? I don't know. Sadly for you all, that's not where the danger ends because we're just getting started. The environment and the weather are also a very prevalent danger here because storms and hurricanes happen a lot. And when they do, you'll start to see these huge black clouds roll over the horizon off in the distance and the wind will start getting blustery and you'll feel sprinkles of rain on you and then everything will pick up and a hurricane will happen. There's no other way to say it. During the hurricane, you'll see huge lightning strikes hit the ground and trees and the wind will start to blow sand and debris and trees everywhere and it's just a nasty sight. Considering there's no real shelter here, your best bet to avoid the storms is to find a cave on one of the big islands or find a lighthouse which is on the middle island. Also during these hurricanes, the ocean itself gets very choppy and whirlpools will start to form all over and pretty much the entire level is like a hurricane happening in a bottle. There is a place at the very center of the very middle island called the Lighthouse, which I just mentioned, and, well, it's a lighthouse. It's the safest place to be when the lightning strikes because the lightning will hit the building before it hits you. So you need to run there the second you see clouds forming so you don't get struck. To enter this level, you can lose consciousness on level 1, to be sent here, or you can jump off a dock on level 103, and to exit, you can travel deep into a cave, which will probably send you to level 8, or you can find a small plane and sit in it to be sent out as well. But this level wouldn't be too bad if you can deal with an occasional hurricane and an occasional tornado or lightning strike. Other than that, it seems like paradise. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you are still watching, comment Beach Brugley. That way I know that you're a real one for watching to the end. I really enjoyed this level. I thought it was a pretty cool concept. And I love the water and the beach. And this one kind of gave me this weird liminal alone feeling. So let me know if you got that too. Check out the full article below if you want to learn more about the entire level. And also while you're down there, check out all my links, like to my second channel, if you want to see a vlogging and more of me. Thank you so much for all you do. I love and appreciate all of you, and I will see you in the next video.